Yes. Wow. Yeah. Like, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Congratulations yes. again. Yeah, thank you. So, funny story, last year, I like reach out to say something, hello, and I grip his arm, but it felt like a robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think he saw the, like the, <gasps> in my eyes, he goes, yeah, <laughs> you okay? It was like, <laughs> so tell us about the equipment. Tell us about the gear that people don't see under the shirt. Yeah, um, so there's a guy out in Canada, he invented an arm brace um, for bareback riders. Elbows are the hardest thing on bareback riders. Uh, mm -hmm. Constantly getting stuff cut out of them, stuff, scar tissue, and he's designed that brace um, to help, you know, keep it from overextending and getting sideways and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's, a, you know, about a roll and a half of athletic tape and a roll of elasticon that goes on with that brace, but it's it's more of a security measure and, and it, it's really changed the game of bareback riding uh, to be able to make you last longer, honestly. So I think that's probably one of the most important parts of our equipment, honestly. Yeah. So have you always ridden with it? Uh, so no, I didn't start riding one until like 2019. Wish I would have got one in 2014 when I first started, but mm -hmm. um, I really enjoy them. I, every young kid I talk to, I say, save your money. Don't matter how broke you are, it'll pay for itself in the long run. Okay. So was it an adjustment learning how to ride with that? It wasn't too bad. They're made fairly thin, uh, mm -hmm. you know, so you don't really notice it at first. I mean, your first two or three, it's a little difficult, and then it's just kind of natural after that, honestly. So we talk a lot about mental blocks, okay, and our tagline is how to rodeo anxiety free yeah. in 23. Mm -hmm. So once you get here, do you do you do any visualization, or do you just kind of let your muscle memory take over? Uh, so like... When we leave the locker room, that's where I start to switch over. You know, a lot of people compare bareback riding uh, to having a wrestler's mentality. Mm -hmm. um, when I flip that switch, it's game time. I'm zoned in. I'm telling myself exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tuck my chin. I'm going to shove my hips. I'm going to roll my shoulder down, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you got to speak it into existence. I'm a big believer in that. And uh, I don't know. I, a lot of it's muscle memory, but I feel like your brain is what t tells your muscles what to do, but in a faster version than if you can sit here and think about it. So how long does it take you when you leave the locker room to when you crack that gate? How, how much time gap is there? Is it 20 minutes? Is it 40 minutes? It's probably right around 15 or 20 minutes. It just depends. Um, Tom, he'll come in and yell that horses are in and then hang your rigging on and then, you know, they have the grand entry and everything. But mm -hmm. it's really not very long, honestly. So how many times do you think you tell yourself those bullet points? I don't know. Some people probably think I'm a psychopath back there because I'm talking to myself and kind of head bobbing and getting into yeah. it, you know, smacking myself around a little bit. But I'd say quite a few times I had to tell myself that. Well, thanks for being transparent because we want to know, like, yeah. <clears throat> what works for you. Clearly it works. Yeah. And we're trying to avoid the recipe. All right, so Jess Pope, you're awesome. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. And Thank you. And being generous with your time and your expertise. Yes, ma'am. Thank we'll you very much. We'll see you back much. here again. Okay, sounds okay. great.